Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I recreated this look inspired by a fellow influencer named Abby Roberts. You guys should check her out. I thought it was such a fun and creative idea, so I wanted to try it for myself. So if you've seen any of his artwork or films, you know the features are very exaggerated. Typically, the main character is very long, tall, and like a skeletal structure. So in order to achieve that, I'm first going to create the illusion of the really skinny, tall neck and defined chest. So I'm just gonna use a few different products to achieve this to really get that super dark jet black look to blend in with the background but I started off with the NYX jumbo black pencil then it moved on to a black paint and set with a black powder you can see how this really starts to give the illusion of that super skeletal thin exaggerated look then using a white paint I'm also going to start creating more emphasis on my collarbones that these I actually drew underneath my real collarbones just to go with the overall look so all I did for that was highlight using white and then shade or contour using a little bit of black eyeshadow I'm also going to start bringing up that illusion into my face first taking it along my jawline and double chin <laughs> I'm gonna bring this up higher than I normally would just to make the face a bit more slender so my eyes are obviously drawn rather large, so I had to cover my brows. To do that, I just used washable glue stick and then set with a powder. This will make laying product much easier and give me the ability to actually conceal the brow. Now I'm going to use a full coverage concealer and place this in all the highlight areas. This is lighter than my actual skin. So again, this is just going to help bring those areas forward. Moving on to create the eye, I'm using a white paint in two large circles. So I'm going to place this on the eyelid following the shape of my brow bone. So right underneath my eyebrows and then to the top of the cheekbone, sort of like right where you highlight your face, then set this with a white powder. Moving on to the contouring, I'm using a black paint in black shadow and I'm going to start creating the super slender nose. So I'm going to put this on the sides of the bridge around the tip and I'm also bringing this in closer to the tip of my nose rather than to my actual face. So this is going to create again the illusion of a much smaller pinched in nose. It's better to see what I'm talking about from the view underneath. You can see where I added the lines to give the appearance of a tighter nostril area and then use the concealer around it to highlight. Then again just adding more highlight where I see needed to bring facial features forward and contour where I want to push them back. I did start my brows here because I wanted to figure out the placement for the eyelid. Honestly, I end up redoing my brows later on, so it's up to you if you want to do them now or later, but I just felt it helped me visualize better where I wanted the lid and brow to be, so I quickly drew a little template for brows. Then using a black eyeliner, I'm going to rim the white circles and also bring this up around my real eyebrows. Again, just using your concealer and face powder, fill in the areas where you see fit, it should start coming together and you'll figure out where you need to add more or less of each product to help exaggerate the features. Then I'm going to use a neutral eyeshadow palette and just rim the eyes. Again, just to give more depth and definition, giving like that sunken in appearance around the new eye. Now I'm actually gonna put on the brows. <laughs> so you can see I made these very exaggerated. They always have like the concerned, whimsical looking eyebrow. So I'm gonna try and follow that same look here bringing the inner corners to a point upward and the outer corners pointed down, then using my concealer to clean up right underneath, but also to highlight that area. For lashes, I actually used this little thing, I don't really know what it is, from a craft store. It's just like a lawn piece of spiky black plastic. So I cut off two of those to use as my top winged lash. And then for the rest of the lashes, I just painted them on using black paint and black liquid eyeliner. If you want to stick to the 3D look, of course, you can use more of those little spiky things or you could use cut up false lashes. My lips were pretty simple. I just used a, like a berry mauve lip liner and then a super light lipstick in the center, just giving that more rounded dolly look to the lip. And then to finish up the look, all I did was cut two circles out of sheets of foam. I'll have everything listed down below as always so you guys can check out the direct links to shop or more information if you're interested. But I just cut these two circles out and then used lash glue to glue them onto the top of my eyelids. It's up to you where you want the eyes glued on or what type of expression you want. But to me this was the most comfortable for me to still use my eyeballs. 
to like actually see while still keeping the integrity of the overall illusion. My other idea was also to use Halloween contacts like black lenses or Solera lenses. Then you can use your actual eyes without having to glue on any faux pupil. If you are interested in shopping Halloween contacts, I'll post those down below too with the discount code. I tried on a couple different wigs because I just couldn't decide <laughs> what color my hair would be if I were a Tim Burton character. I think the wig just added a bit more fun to the overall look. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the description box for more information and discount codes. Make sure you're still subscribed to my channel. I would love to know what type of character or look you want me to do next, so be sure to comment that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.